Hi everybody, this is Kathy from Kathy's Cars. I'm here to share with you the project that we did on the 6th of February. That's on Wednesday that I did with Andrew Stever, the Midnight Crafter, and Marlene Mars from Michigan, and me, and we had to do stick pins. So I think I did about four, and then uh, I did two more after I got done um, because I had had them set out and ready to go. So I'm going to show you now what I made. So I'll put this aside. This was the first one that I made. And this one I had a rose and I put it on the top of the pin. And these are bigger pins. They're actually sewing needles um, that you can get internationally. And uh, I had this beautiful pearl that I was able to put up above it. And then, of course, I had to have a shoe. And then in the middle, uh, red for Valentine's Day. And then down below was the silver. And then I found uh, a silver heart in my stuff. So um, I thought that would go really nice together. And like I said, the shoe was green, so I figured I'd bring out the green and the flower. So that was the first one that I made. Close so you can see. And then second one. I had these little flowers. These are plastic ones that you can get at Michael's. And um, I put that for my topper. And then um, I had these little spacers in between with different color uh, pinks and purples. And I have the little purple um, purse hanging. And then I got the two other stones that I put in there that I thought would match really well. So that one there was my second one. And then I think I, then I had a pink one here. And these I made, um, these were embellishments that I made on top of here where you just cut a, just cut out a, a scallop paper. Um, I use buttons a lot of times too, but I didn't have, I don't think I had a button for this one. Yes, I did. Actually, I did the scale up, and there's a button underneath here. <laughs> and then I put the layers on it with the embellishment. So I thought that would look really cute on the top of a, a stick pin. And then I found these other uh, nice beads that have pink in them, different color pinks. And um, in between, I had the spacers, different kinds of spacers. But, um, you know, I thought all the colors kind of went really good. And again, something I was trying to think of something different. So that's why I used one of my embellishments for that. And then the next one, I love this teacup. And I've had it forever. And I said, it's one of these days i got to use it on a stick pen. And finally, <laughs> the day came. And um, I don't know how well you can see it. But um, on this stick pin, I put the nice clear, it's not even clear, it's got like frosting in it, the bead, it's a nice big one. And then uh, I found the other ones, it's kind of like an aqua blue, and I found different ones that I could match. And then I had the clear one at the bottom, but that was the, uh, the one with the teacup. I don't know how well you can see these. And then I had another embellishment. I did the same thing with this one. I don't use yellow that often, so that's why I figured I would uh, you know, do this one in yellow. And uh, it has the button and everything on it, too. And all I did was put it in the back and uh, put it through and uh, glued it a little. And then I put all these nice, I found the nice yellow, uh, pearly yellow beads and then the white pearly bead and the little those crowns and um, so I thought that kind of set it off look good kind of good kind of looks like a little Sunday hat <laughs> but anyways that was that one and then I had a couple little ones that I did take this off and this one here I love these I have to get some more of these these are the ones with the little it it's a flower it's a really cool flower and this one was a small um, uh, needle, 
and or pin, whatever you want to call it, and it has a pearl on the top, so you're able to feed it right in there, and um, and then uh, because it's small, you only put a couple pearls on, but I found some nice red ones that I thought would go with it. And this one was just a little heart one that I did afterwards. Just a little pink one. Like I said, these, these little pins, you can't put a whole lot on, but they're cute. And then yesterday, um, I do a lot of resin, and I color the resin. And I made this uh, flower. Let's see, you can see the back. I made it, put that on the back, and I thought, you know what? I have the resin dress. And I always, this is one of my favorite resin dresses, and I don't know if you can see, it's got glitter on it. Probably not. <laughs> but anyways, it does have some glitter on it. So um, I was thinking of doing this one. I wasn't sure. But I got some uh, little beads together there. And uh, there's the back. There's the front. And uh, I thought it turned out pretty good. So anyways, uh, this is what I ended up making. Let's see if I can get these in. Uh, back in right <laughs> they were a lot of fun we had a lot of fun doing these and you can see what the other ladies are doing go over to Mars's channel and Andrea's channel and you'll see all the wonderful ones that they made too um, it turned out really cool we always end up you know with a certain project or theme but it's amazing how we all end up with different things, but uh, they always come out really good, and it's always challenging, so we have fun. So every Wednesday at 1230, <clears throat> uh, please come over. Uh, it's usually on Mars's channel, Mars from Michigan, and join us. We have a lot of fun, and uh, uh, you, know, you never know what we're going to end up making or what the results are going to be. So anyways, guys, that's all I wanted to share with you. Let me know what you think. And um, down below, I'll put the original um, video where we made these uh, pins. So thank you, everybody, and I hope you're having a great day.